Welcome back heroes to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. We have a brand new solo mode. I'm so excited for this because it's Ghost Tricks. This is a deck I used to play um, when they first came out and I really did enjoy them. So I'm really looking forward to this. See all the, like, the new support that came out over the years that I've missed. So we've got the Delightful Dwellers of Darkness. I've oh, got Alucard right there. Remember pulling that like ultimate rare Alucard and was like, oh I'm so happy. There's not many uh, doors or scenarios but I'm still excited for this. I loved all the card artwork and the effects and it was just so, so fun. But going into time every single duel at Locals was uh, was not fun. But Delightful Dwellers of Darkness. Welcome everyone to the mansion where many ghost trick dwell. This western style house is located at the edge of town, on top of a small hill. This place used to be inhabited by humans, but they're now long gone. Since when no one knows, but there was a certain rumour about it that was uh, whispered around town. Did you know? They say there are ghouls, even evil spirits, living in that mansion. So if you accidentally wander in, you'll be attacked and feel the wrath of the spirits. I don't know what a spirit or a ghost is, but I know one thing for sure. There is certainly something that is not human living in this mansion. Hmm? Seems like we have human visitors tonight. These loudmouth residents are even more excited than usual. That was fun. Hey, did you see it? The look on that human's face. <laughs> He looks so surprised. I wonder if they heard the rumours and came to visit. But they went home so fast, after coming from so far away. I wish they stayed longer. <laughs> In the past, humans used to know who we were. Apparently, they mistook us for evil spirits, or ghouls. Sudden humans call us Ghost Trick. <laughs> How should I surprise them next time? <laughs> Good grief. It's really noisy. Your voices are echoing in the air. Huh? Who? Me? Oh, sorry for the late introduction. I'm Alucard, the owner of this abandoned mansion. Is me! The racket here is from my those that have taken up a residence here. They all have their own reasons for coming, such as having lost their old homes. According to one resident, What I like about it here is that we get to scare humans. I've been doing all kinds of tricks to surprise people. I like to hang out with my chums and wait till a human comes by. I would love it if more humans would come and play just like the old days. Hmm? I would like to be sleeping in my coffin. Quietly, not peace. I don't like it when things get too loud. <laughs> Loving the uh, the story so far. But let's go and do the practice. Alright. So if I remember correctly, ghost tricks are all about like setting cards face down to fence. And then you flip your um, flip over to get the effects and you can flip your opponent's cards down and lock them down and oh I'm liking the sleeves in the background here it looks really awesome all right so I recognize some of these cards what do I want to do it's got ghost trick and mansion okay so use the ghost trick cards to win the duel to normal summon a ghost trick monster of level four or lower the ghost trick monster must already be face up in your field First set, Ghost Trick, Zhangxi. Okay, so we set this. And then we go, okay. Activate Ghost Trick Shot. And then we can special summon Mummy. Uh, change this. Okay. This effect will allow you to add Ghost Trick Witch to your hand from your deck, okay. So we get this. I remember Mary. Don't remember Yukiona. Remember Jack Frost, Spectre, Lantern. I don't remember Doll or Fairy. I think I remember this one. Oh, and let's get Witch. Okay, so now we're gonna, you can normal summon one or more Ghost Trick Monster this turn using the effect of Ghost Trick Mummy. Alright, so then we, oh, summon this. Okay, and then we're gonna make Alucard. Oh, I don't remember, well, I don't, I don't say I don't remember, there definitely wasn't a Ghost Trick Festival when I was playing, because Link's weren't a thing. <laughs> so we get Alucard, I remember it was Alucard and, is it Dolahan, I think? Alucard's effect, destroy the monster in face down defense position. Alright. 
destroy that. And fake Ghost Trick Mansion. Now, not only will both players' monsters become unable to attack monsters in face down defense position, uh, you may also be able to attack your opponent directly depending on the situation. Also, battle damage inflicted by monsters other than Ghost Trick monsters may be halved. Ooh, okay. Okay, the, the text just keeps going on its own. It's not me doing that, but I guess we just end this. Attack, and then win! I'm loving the field effect for this. It looks so cool. If we get this from, like, just finishing the solo mode or just have to buy it, I'm definitely going to buy it. Alright, first duel. Alright. Not going to lie, I'm kind of tempted to build Ghost Trick again in real life. I do really like the field so much. It looks so cool. Alright, ooh, uh, Warwolf. Uh, once per turn, okay, so when this card is flipped face up, inflict, inflict 100 damage to your opponent for each set card in the field. Right, okay. What do we want to do first? Uh, I'm just going to set this. And end. If you attack, I can use Lantern, right, to negate the attack. Okay. <laughs> Take that damage, nice. I think it's a direct attack then? Yeah, it declares a direct attack. Ah. Right. Got so many ghost troops, I don't remember what they do, but... Uh, once per turn during your main phase, you can target one ghost troop monster, you control its attack becomes equal to the... Okay. Uh... Right. Summon this. Effect. Uh, activate effect. Flip. Take 300. Nice. And then we'll go battle phase. And direct attack. Oh. Jack Frost. Okay. That's fine. If you playing Ghost Tricks as well, we're just gonna be burning. Burning our opponent down. I mean, so far, so good. I think. Like, I, I do like Ghost Tricks, but when I played them, I don't think people like playing against me because they're just so slow and so. I don't think boring, but. It's fun for me to play, but I think against playing against them is not the most fun thing in the world. Uh. That. Alright, so if we go flip. Nice. Oh. And then flip. And then we're gonna go battle. And I get to add one to hand on a spell or trap. And I am gonna get. There's a lot of cards. Remember Ghost Trick Scare? Um, uh, direct all. Can direct all uh, directly if all monsters their opponent controls are in face down defense position or effect damage and battle damage by monsters other than Ghost Trick this halved. Hmm. Yeah, I guess Mansion. Uh, attack. And then we go main phase two. Flip them back down. Activate mansion. And I guess end. The music is banging. I love this music. 
Alright, this is gonna go well, I think. <laughs> right, so if I go. Set. Set. And flip. Burn damage, baby! <laughs> Alright, flip. Flip. I can't flip that. Um, so. You can target one Ghost Ship monster you control, its attack comes equal to the combined original attack of all Ghost Ship monsters that are in the field. Uh, do this. 4,100. Battle phase, let's end this. Yeah, get that card to hand, that's gonna make a big difference, isn't it? <laughs> oh, nice. Good old ghost tricks. So slow, but so fun. Alright, let's check the, uh, the scenario. See if anyone else comes to the mansion for a nice good old scare. Hmm? What? You have a question? Are all of the ghost tricks living in the mansion, you ask? No, they seem to be elsewhere too. I've heard that some of them live in the town's museum. Ah, yeah. Dullahan, that's what I remember. For instance, the Dullahan and the Mummy, they disguise themselves as exhibits in the day and then go skulking around at night. Because the museum has some very un unusual things on display, some humans come to see them at night. The other day, I saw one that was happily telling a tale about how he scared a so-called security guard. He was saying, it's like hide and seek, but more fun, or something like that. As when a mummy broke an object they belonged, that belonged to a human. The human won't know, so it's okay is what they said, but they got scolded by the witch. On days uh, when there, there are big human festivals, the residents leave the mansion to go into town. Only watch from afar, but the whole town is lively and decorated at night with humans in costume having fun. Uh, usually, when they are startled, they run away in a panic. But on that day, they just laugh it off. The ones trying to scare them look very confused. Well, it seems I have talked for too long tonight. I think it's time for me to go to sleep. If you haven't talked enough, then go talk to someone awake. Now then, have a quiet and good night. Huh? A human? Is that a human? <laughs> hey, wanna play with us? If you don't play with us, we're gonna prank you. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm a la carte sometimes, just nice, quiet, peaceful night. Alright, uh, don't wanna go to the store, but let's open the gate if we can. 500 and we have 550. So two more duels. Let's see how these ghost trick cards work now. Gonna get the sleeves and hopefully we get the uh, the field after this. So how are the deck's gonna change? Soul absorbing bone tower. All right, okay. Uh, I'm gonna set Yeti because I've got 2,000 defense. So if you control another zombie type monster, your opponent cannot target this card for attacks. Each time a zombie monster is special summoned, send the top two cards your opponent's deck to the graveyard. That's not bad. You get both of these out, they can't attack. So monsters cannot attack face down defense position monsters, but can attack directly if all monsters their opponent controls are face down defense position. The opponent takes no damage. An opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can add one ghost trick card from your deck to your hand. I use it for now, but I don't like the fact that my opponent takes no damage. Well, see, we've got Lantern to stop an attack, so. What's that? Oh, you got a museum. Do a hand, hey! Oh, Go Trick Angel. Oh, I haven't seen that before. Okay. This is looking a little scary. Oh wow, oh wow, okay. I'm really just going in here a little bit. Oh, this is not scary at all. Right, activate the effect. Uh, do I still get the effect of um, Parade of it gets negated? I feel like yes, it's been activated. So that negates the attack, and then if we get. Oh, I feel like we should get Zhangxi. 
Can activate this. Uh, I want Warwolf. 2,000 damage is a lot though. Ghost Trick, go round. So once per turn, during the battle phase, you can activate one of these effects. Target one Ghost Trick monster you control. Change that target to face down defense position, and if you do, change one face down defense position monster your opponent controls face up. Target one face down defense position monster your, you control. Change that, okay. So this will be good. If I do this, flip up. Uh, okay, which means it can't be destroyed. And I can't make anything. Right. Uh, I think we just put this down. And we end. I think we just gotta make use of go around right now. Otherwise we're taking big damage every turn and we don't want that. The number of materials on this card becomes 10. You win the duel? Okay. That's really cool, but... Uh, yeah, do this. And then we'll get... Uh, so, this one does. Uh, monster you control except ghost trip monsters cannot attack. Monsters cannot attack face down position monsters, but can attack directly for monsters. Their opponent controls are face down defense position. Then the, the damage step change any monsters that inflicted damage to the player during this turn. Okay, that's yeah, we want this. I mean, parade's good if. Uh, you can just get rid of it. What does Skeleton do? When this card is flipped face up, banish cards from the top of your opponent's deck face down. Up to the Ghost Trip Monsters, you can... Oh, that's kind of good. Um, gonna set this first. Activate this. No, and I might play Skeleton next, start banishing some cards. I'm just glad that she's not adding many to that, you know? <laughs> Otherwise that could be bad. Right, so now we actually need this. And if I do this... Right, face down. Damage though, oh, this is not good. Oh, you're a battle fader? Okay. Right, so let's do this. This. Some of this. And then we'll go Alucard. card. And then you can uh let's see. Once your opponent controls cannot target face up ghost room monsters or any def face down defense from monsters for attack, except this one. Uh, you can detach one exceeds material from this card and target one set card your opponent controls. Draw that target. 
Okay, sweet. Once per turn, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can type one Ghost Trick card in your graveyard and that card. Okay, so we definitely have to beat this first. Gotta destroy one of these. Without a doubt, because they are the issue right now. And then um, you can banish this card from your graveyard and type one Ghost Trick Seize Monster you control. Attach. Sure. Actually, kind of good. Uh, let's go battle phase. Take this. Oh, okay. Uh, so we target one because you control, change the face down defense position. And if you do change one face down defense monster, your opponent tries to face up attack. Uh, type one face down, okay. Let's do this, because then we can do this. And then target that so we don't take any damage. Replay happens. Nice. All the museums. And then one four. Don't mind this. Goliath's a little scary, but well, I mean, we should be fine. And then flip over. Okay. All right, we are fine because of go around right now. But if they do a lot more stuff, we could be in trouble. Battle phase, that's fine. Gotta activate this otherwise we lose. And then we'll go this. I should have done um War Wolf. That's fine. Gonna destroy this now. 100 percent Ooh, can I do I think this is the this is the play. If I do this first, you take some burn damage. Activate this. Get rid of that, destroy you, and then we go, go straight ghoul, flip this, activate effect, charge the attack, bam, 5100, attack directly win. No! Uh... Gotta do this. Twice we're gonna lose. I hate this card so much. Alright, do that. No battle damage. And then we have to uh main phase two. <laughs> that battle feeder man. Oh dude, that just that should have been game, but I mean it almost was, but <laughs> But for them, oh wow. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so. Uh, flip. 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 Uh, let's summon this. Activate. Do this. I'll do you and you. Right, so then we activate the effect. Destroy this. Oh, can I do one? Of, of, ah. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, it's fine. Right, battle phase. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do. This. One eight. Not for they both just chain each other. <laughs> One four, and then we win. Once it's done chaining again. Flip it back down. 
And then 1-8 to win. Woo! Got a little scary for a little bit there, but managed to turn that around. Nice. All right, what do we got next? Got some cool sleeves, and for this one we get... Oh, profile picture. So I'm guessing we probably have to buy the uh, the field. I mean, it's worth it. The field's awesome. Okay, got some cards. I have no idea what they do. Mm. So what does this do? Level 5 or higher zombie monster is on the field. Target one monster your opponent controls. Take control of it until the end phase. During your main phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle one of your banished zombie monsters into the deck. If you do, set this card, but banish it. When it leaves the field, you can only use one zombie necronize effect per turn and only once that turn. Right. Uh, okay. Let's do that. I mean, got, can't use that at the moment, but I mean, that's all we can really do. And we go from there and see what we can, can muster up. Go back to the parade. Uh... Got no war wolf to start burning, so I was winning before. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? I'll get mummy. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh, I'm not liking the look at this, and you can activate effect to destroy this. This is. Oh, okay. Not a good effect, that's fine. Right, so let's flip this. Uh, when this card's flip face up, you can type one ghost through in your graveyard. Like, that doesn't really matter. Mmm. Should probably it should. Mmm. Right, summon this. Like that. Yeah. And then we'll go. Oh, while you control another ghost trick monster, your opponents cannot attack this. Target this card for attacks. Once per turn, you can detach one material from this card. Type of one monster on the field of attack less than or equal to the combined attack. All ghost trick monsters on the field destroy it, and if you do, that monster's own. Okay. So it's. Target, detach one material from this card. Target one monster on the field of attack less than or equal to the combined attack. Okay. So if we do this then. And... Mm. I feel like I should get this. Yeah, something to hand. I'm gonna separate get mansion for the time being. Oh, I can't take damage, can they? I should have. Yeah. In phase two. Attach a card. Oh, that's, okay, ah, uh, okay, that's not, I thought it could be something from the graveyard, should have read that, my bad, it's all good, it's all good, still not too sure, I like, 
Parade is good, but also bad. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Right, so let me activate the effect. And I'm gonna add... Oh, discard Mansion. Gonna get Mansion. Gonna activate Mansion. I'm gonna... Set this. Flip. Battle phase. Okay. One five. Okay. Don't know how I'm gonna use this like Doom King and zombie necronized stuff, but I think the ghost trick stuff's working pretty well. Oh, you're getting ritual stuff. This is it's gonna be bad, isn't it? I mean it's it's fine. It's got two five defense, I'm happy with that. Cross sheep, hey. Right, so what are we doing? Got parade, I'm definitely not gonna be using that. Uh to hand. Hmm. When a ghost troop monster is on the field, your opponent cannot flip summon. That sounds good. You got some flip summon stuff, so I do not mind that. And then attach parade. Flip. Activate effect. And we'll add. Hmm. When this card's flip face up, you can type one ghost trick card in your graveyard, set that card, banish it. Alright. Can I like, put this into attack? I guess because, ah, oh, right. Uh, set this. End. And then we'll activate this. Because then you cannot do any flips. Okay. Well, let me activate it right away. Does it still work? You still get the flip. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. All good. Something cool here. Oh, go up bloom. This card sent to the graveyard you can banish this card from your graveyard. Add one level five or higher zombie monster from your deck to your hand. Zombie world is in the field zone. You can search on this from your deck instead. Also, in another case, you cannot special some monsters from the rest of this turn. Except zombie monsters, you can only use. Okay. Uh, do this. This. Flip, effect, and we'll add you, summon, battery low, sweet, I think it's really just a good idea to attack, no? Oh, go trick scare! Really scared that like ritual coming out soon. Uh, can kill that at least. Uh, then I have to get my phase two. Oh, wall for the burn, man. So I'd really like. What do I? What do I do? I think if I flip this and make Alucard, and then. I'm gonna destroy that back row in case it's like really annoying. You go, oh, okay. Oh, you're not gonna use effects, sweet. This trap's kind of useless right now. <laughs> this is hurting. Oh, what are you making? 
Oh, okay. Right. So let's try this. Flip. Next bit effect. Doesn't really matter right now. Flip. Flip. Then I'm gonna go Alucard with you and you. Thanks for the effect. Destroy this. Uh, and we'll summon. And I'm in battle phase, and I think that's gonna be GG. Effective and at this point doesn't matter because we're gonna win. Hey, let's get a little bit worried for a second there, but Ooh. let's go. Good game. All right, and that was the Ghost Trick story. I actually really liked that. It was really cool. Miss playing Ghost Trick has been such a such a long time. But yeah, I think it's probably a great place to uh, obviously end this off, and then I'll see you guys when we get the next story mode which uh i'm not sure what's going to be but it seems like it's every like two three weeks so i mean look out for that probably just be one more before christmas i assume but uh yeah thank you guys for watching i'll catch you guys next time have a great day peace